How do you define black love? So I don't have a definition of what black love is, um, other than to say that you know it when you see it. It's in the music, it's in the videos, it's in our movies. It's such an important part of who we are as people, as human beings. But it's love. Um, the reason why we talk about black love is because we don't often see it depicted in, in the culture. From a historical perspective, uh, black love has, has had to work within um, a certain context. Going back to the, the antebellum period where black folks weren't able to marry and to symbolically go through the process of the jumping of the broom, the practice has been passed down to acknowledge those folks who weren't able to go through that kind of legal threshold. It's such a wonderful gesture to the folks and the idea of love and sustainability and partnership that's come behind us. African Americans bring a certain cultural experience, set of traditions, both good and bad to every situation. So you have to have at least two black people to have black love, in my opinion. And I think there are unique challenges, both negative and positive to that, because of who we are and our cultural experiences, particularly in this country. But also by, by addressing those challenges and conquering them, I think that that also achieves a certain level of intimacy and understanding and love uh, that wouldn't be possible without it. I understand black love is something that is transcendent of socioeconomic status. It is able to nurture and embrace and accept and persevere and survive and thrive. Black love is liberatory. Black love is radical. Black love is profound, it's sustainable, it's sustaining. It is the glue that has kept us focused through many years. Um, it's not always romantic. For me, black love has a, a little bit different uh, perspective. Love was more of a philosophical uh, construct. I think too often we get caught into models of black love that mirror, you know, what we see on soap operas and mainstream television. Um, love is something that's much more complicated. It is a revolutionary stance to love when you've not been loved back. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is what black love uh, sort of stands for. I think we could spend weeks unpacking the term itself, black love. And I really applaud the symposium organizers in the University of Kansas for uh, being bold enough to put out there that you're doing a symposium on Zora Neale Hurston and calling it black love. You know, in the time that Zora Neale Hurston was alive, Florida was one of, if not the most lethal um, state for African Americans. And yet we're here today in this week talking about a text and what it has to say about love. Zora Neale Hurston was a woman uh, committed and dedicated to the celebration of the dignity and beauty that she perceived within, within her community. Their eyes are watching God, extrapolated in that community sense, simply represents that kind of love that she has as an artist, as a writer, as a folklorist, uh, brought to the pages. That novel, you know, represents so much of the legacy of African American history and culture. I think it's a combination of her work both as ethnographer, folklorist, and also um, as a writer. And so the stories about love in that, that narrative really are really formative in terms of thinking about the importance of literature in black life and the importance of of love forming in the context of the Jim Crow South and the challenges that ordinary people go through in order to, to sustain their relationships. I think black love is what every kind of love is. Love is universal. Um, I think the reason why uh, people felt the need for a symposium on black love in particular because it's probably one of the most underrepresented facets of black life. While African Americans are often defined through a prism of struggle, they have loved and they have always loved in ways no less pure, no less marvelous than others, but yet um, that is not what gets out into, into the culture. So the, the, the void is what cried out for this symposium. The 
the thing that occurs to me, and it, it's, it's what I've taken from this conference, that this continuum of black love that we need to, con to understand more fully. Uh, we touched on a lot of things here, um, but I think we're just literally scratching the surface. <laughs>